find the measure of x. <coughs> First thing I notice is that we have a transversal. The second thing I did not include that the diagram did on the original assignment was that we had also had parallel lines. <coughs> we have, we're given 130 degrees and x, 130 and x are on the same side as the transversal. And by the visual representation, they're also looking like they have the same positioning. So what we have here is corresponding angles. So we have corresponding angles, which means x would have to equal 130 degrees. There you have it.